Welcome back to Judo Breakdowns, your source for judo commentary on the internet. And what I have for you today is a match from the Grand Slam in Tel Aviv 2022. And it's a match in the men's on over 100 ki uh, kilogram category. And in the white, we have, let me just fast forward. We have guy on the mats right now, Onis uh, Bugadze from uh, Georgia. And in blue, we have Iakev Kamo from the Ukraine. Okay. And they were about to go at each other. The referee didn't like the, the the sort of nonchalant bowing. She's still being a stickler about the bowing. Okay. All right. Let's just get it going. No need to power trip there. What? <laughs> like, I like the quorum and everything, but... Uh, I didn't see what was wrong with that second bow that he gave. AKA the first real one. All right. So we're just getting grips here. And they've only got one on each side. And uh, they're just going top. Okay. A sacrifice by Iakev. Um, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Uh, you know, because there was it didn't look like Onize was p pushing a lot forward, right? And so if you're gonna do that type of drop, like you, you'd want it to be. You know, an intense amount of forward put a pressure, right? So uh, there was, it didn't look like it, right? Like it looks relatively neutral in terms of his uh, position, right? So Iakev's going to be getting the penalty for not getting the grip with that arm. And uh, goes right back to doing it. I don't <laughs> Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Did, uh, I could hear the thud from that, from Onise. And you could saw, you saw the reaction from, from him as well. Uh, it looked like he got his shin up against the, the heel of, uh, Iakev. Heel, uh, you know, Iakev obviously would be fine, but this, oh, that looks like, that should be, a pulling to me, if, and I didn't catch this if she didn't call Mate just before that. So um, that would be such a shame because that would be a nice Yipon right away. And it was called Mate perhaps just moments before. Uh, and obviously Ikev would, have, uh, would not have had enough time to really realize that. But uh, there was something there. There was something there in that attack too by Ikev as well, like that, that stepping th uh, through uh, Osoto. Okay. Let's see what, you know, how does uh, how does Onise bounce back, right? You know, we we've seen uh, a little bit of what Ikev can do in terms of attacks that actually do have some that do work. And uh, only say it's sort of got a second lease on life over here, you know. So right now he's spending that second lease of life, really just walking around with the grips and uh, allowing himself to get countered. And I think that should be for the Wazari. There's no score on that. Are we serious? He didn't land on the. He didn't land on his side. What? <laughs> okay, the counter the the, the Tanya Toshi from uh Yikev is clearly got gas in the tank. Onise is not punishing him at all. And you know, like traditionally, what do you do? Alright, just you wanna come around? You know? What's your mata time, baby? I'm like let's just, let's go. But uh now. Nah. Haven't seen much of a reversal from uh Onis as well, so. And right now, they've, they've just got, like, high grips. Not really doing very much. I mean, this is actually quite tiring. Just holding on to each other. You can there, you can know that there's a lot of power that's going over here. So, uh, Iakev is getting penalized. So, now he's on two penalties. 
It's quite bad for him. He's got no score. Got two penalties. And uh, he's getting, he's looking a little tired, a little fatigued, right? And, uh, oh, is he going to go for it again? No. The Uchimaya attempt by uh, Unis is uh, blocked. And uh, there is no score from Unis. But uh, you have are really able to take advantage of the infective throw for a reversal. Okay, so I expect Onise to, to get a penalty soon. Yeah, for that. Stepping out. Alright, so they both got mid-back grips. Really 50-50. Okay. Uh, the direction was not right on that. And, uh, okay. Oh, Osakomi is being called. Oh, this might be done. He taps. You have taps. He, he looked too tired to go for it. Wow, congratulations. I am surprised. I am a, a surprised that this is how this went down. I mean, you could tell that... Uh, you have spent a lot of his energy with those uh, those reversals, and uh, his attacks with them subsequently, or the tiny to uh, the tiny Toshi attacks were they were looking pretty weak. So uh, it was a question of really you know how well would Onis be able to step up. So let's have a look here. The throw that gets him down. Not much of anything, really. It's just it gets him onto his bum and uh, just rolls forward. Nothing fancy, you know? Just has, he's just, he's not even hooked the arm. And this is something I love to see. So, you know, so many students are, they're just like, okay, I need to like hook my arm here, get elbow in, wrap, blah, 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 blah. No. A lot of judo, like, uh, hold downs are just, I'm gonna, move forward and I'm just going to push my weight down and uh, I can settle into my th my hold down from there which is sort of a Kazuri Yokushi Ogatame but uh, those are my thoughts if you enjoyed uh, if you have your own please leave a comment if you enjoyed this consider hitting like and subscribe and until next match have a great night